hi guys welcome back to another video i'm starting this video from my car because today i'm at alchemy 43 and i'm here to get microneedling with prp the main reason for doing this treatment is to help with my under eye darkness um it is a little bit more hollow than i would like it has some hyperpigmentation and some bumpy texture and i heard that getting the prp injected under the eyes with the microneedling is supposed to help and be a better option than getting filler under the eyes so i wanted to document my my experience and see if there was a huge difference if it's worth the money I've gone to alchemy 43 many times before Janine who has done my tattoo removal for like six years now um, she works there and she's amazing she does so many good treatments so I'm excited to try this out and see what happens I have gotten migraine needling done before just not with a PRP and obviously um, not injected under my eyes so I'm gonna film the whole process for you guys I'm also putting in some before clips of how my under eyes look under different lighting like the kitchen lighting was different than the bathroom lighting and that was different than the outside lighting so I wanted you to see how my under eyes looked in the different lighting and then for the after photos I'll do the same as well I'm not sure how the lighting is gonna be inside I have a light with me but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to set it up so I'm gonna include all the clips I can of the whole process and take you guys with me these are my under eyes in the natural lighting from my car as you can see, it's a lot of darkness here and there's bumpiness and I'm just wanting to get rid of that without filler. So if you'd like to see my microneedling experience, then please keep watching. This is my favorite person, Janine. Hi. She's been doing my tattoo removal for Five years now? 500 years. <laughs> yeah, five years, that's still not going. <laughs> so we're gonna do the microneedling and right now she's cleaning my face with alcohol. This is to strip the natural oils so the numbing cream will soak in. It smells amazing. Yes, yeah, right? <laughs> it's so clean. <laughs> You don't ever numb the under eyes, right? Not, no, it can't be within where your lashes go or else okay. it'll go in your eyeball and then that will be bad. Okay. So don't do it in your eyeballs. Okay. Because numbing cream to the eyeball is like <laughs> one of the worst things you could do around here. And would you mind explaining what the purpose of the blood and stuff is for? Sure. So this is the collecting tube. We're going to take the blood from the syringe and put it in the collecting tube mm -hmm. so that we can spin it down to take the red blood cells out mm -hmm. so that it doesn't bruise when we put it back in. It's kind of gross, right? I think it's cool, but I do you too. Know, I'm that kind of person. <laughs> Maybe if like, it was your own, it's fine, but some people might get grossed out. Well, you know, I've got clothes on. <laughs> so then, um, put this thing on. And then, this is called a centrifuge. Okay. And then it spins and then it separates like the red from the yellow? Exactly, and so that's what's happening now. The okay. next thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna clean your face really well. Okay. So now this is just the whole cleaning thing. Okay. I feel like everyone deals with bad under eyes and I just wanted to do a video to see like, does the treatment work and how many would you need and everything like that. 
That sound you hear is the blood spinning. Oh. Sounds like a helicopter is landing on our building. <laughs> it's just your blood. So this is getting the numbing off. It takes some work. Okay. It feels weird too. Yeah, on the nose when your, n your nose is numb. Uh -huh. It's a weird feeling. Totally. This is my cellar water, it's just for cleaning. It's pretty gentle. The last one will be rubbing alcohol. That one is not so gentle, but it gets it all off. And when you do it with the PRP, do you peel less afterwards? Um, Cause you know, regularly I, I get a little dry and peel with the- Yeah, um, it doesn't, see, for me personally, mm -hmm. I, it didn't change the peeling aspect. I always okay. just peel a little right here. Okay. So now, um, this is a two-step little process, so we're going to take okay. out what you don't want in there is red blood cells. Okay. So there's, I don't know if you can see from there, there's a little bit in this tube. Yeah, in the bottom? Yeah. No, that? Oh. It's there. Okay. See? Oh, on top, okay. Yeah, so I don't want that going in there because I'm going to inject it. Okay. So I'm going to suck that out. Oh, wow. So that doesn't go in your face. It looks like I'm taking a lot, but I'm not. It's not even a CC. It's just enough to get that, mm -hmm. that little strand of red out there. So that's out. Now, we just have a good way to yellow. Plus that top bit yeah. doesn't have all the platelets in it anyway. Okay. It's what they call platelet pour. This is the good stuff. What's the stuff at the bottom? Red blood cells. Oh, oh okay. They don't do anything for your skin. So you just separate and then you just use the yellow. I do that. And that's the plasma. That's got all the good stuff in it. Oh. Red blood cells just make a bruise, basically. They're just color. They do deliver iron, but we don't want mm -hmm. iron. Okay. That's not going to help your skin. Yes. My under eyes are so brown. Like, you know, some people have like different, like some people are blue, some people have red. Mine are like super brown, the under eye circles. I hope not. I'm excited. Because I didn't want to do filler. I was like scared of it and I didn't want it to migrate and I didn't want it to age me. So it's the same process as the regular microneedling, but you're using that instead of the other solution. Exactly. Plus, on you, we're going to inject. Okay. Yeah. This thing's loud. Okay. So close your eyes. Okay. I just would like to apologize ahead of time. I know. It's okay. <laughs> I think you're a really nice person. Please forgive me for harming uh -huh. you so. <laughs> um, it feels good, people say, if you press down on it after. Okay. If you agree, do it. If you don't agree, don't do it. And would you say that this is the same amount of product you would use if you were putting filler under someone's eyes? No, it's way more. Way more? Okay. Yeah, um, I'm putting... Uh, I'm putting 
a full cc. It's double as much as filler. I will only put at most a half cc, maybe even 0.3. Wow. I'm gonna do the other side. Yeah, it's way more because it's not so much about mm. filling it as it is telling it to repair itself. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to try? I guess you can't do it. Oh yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Does it help to push down? Mm, I think so. It's just that initial poke. But we're done? Yeah. Okay. Does it burn? <laughs> um, the, the eye you just did burns a little bit? Yeah, people say it burns. That's why they like to hold the pressure. Okay. They say it burns less when they hold the pressure. It's it's like a like when you get shampoo in your eye, that's how it feels. Yeah. But only on the one you just did, the other one's fine. I wonder what I maybe mean, because it's had time. Mm, maybe or maybe I I got to in my eye from before. I don't, I don't know. Or maybe it's just more sensitive. Who knows? And then will I bruise? Or just I don't think you're gonna bruise. I think you're okay. gonna swell a lot. Okay. The swelling's kind of scary because it it almost looks like you're having an allergic reaction. But you're okay. not. It's just because I put that stuff under there, and okay. now you're gonna grow a ton of collagen in there. Okay. And then it will be swollen for two days. On average. Okay. Don't be afraid if it doesn't stay swollen that long, and don't be afraid if it stays swollen longer. I look so crazy. <laughs> it's definitely swollen already. I don't know if you can see. It looks like you have an allergic reaction. I'm tearing and I can barely open my eyes. Um, the only part that hurt was the injections underneath the eyes. Um, and also getting my blood drawn, but that's normal, so. I'll check in with you later. I just wanted to show you in better lighting. This one is more swollen than this one. And this, if you can see, has like a heartbeat. <laughs> um, I had mascara on, so it's a little smeared. And I'm a little red, obviously, so. Um, the main purpose of this treatment was to get the injection, so. Hopefully I can see it to try it out. <laughs> I didn't think this part through, but. This is the swelling right now. I'm back home now. It's about 45 minutes later, and let me see if I can turn towards the light. Um, this eye is definitely more swollen than this eye. It was kind of like more painful from the beginning. Um, it feels a lot better, and my eyes stopped watering. Like I said, the most painful part was just like the injection, and then afterwards, it kind of burned. And then like if I close my eyes a little too tight or go like this, it feels like bruised. I don't know like what to compare it to because I've never had any kind of like Botox or filler. I've only done facials and microneedling. So I don't have anything to compare it to as far as like if it's just as painful as filler or any of that because you can't numb around the eye area. But I don't think I can wash my face until the morning when I wake up. Um, the numbness is still a little bit there on my lips, so it's starting to wear off, but I'll check in with you. First thing in the morning, um, I'm going to wash my face and then put on the mask she gave me. So yeah, I, look at this already, it's like glowing. So I can't wait for all this redness to be gone. And I hope I look like a new person in three days. I'm so excited. Hi guys, I'm just checking in for the next morning on my microneedling. Um, my face is still a little red, I look a little crazy, but the swelling has gone down under the eyes if you can't tell. Um, when I first woke up this morning, it still was swollen, but it seems like as the day has gone on, um, it's getting better. Here's like a side view of the swelling. It's actually doing really well, so I'm really excited. I just did a gentle cleanser to kind of like get rid of all the stuff that was on my skin because I couldn't wash it last night. And I'm about to do this collagen mask. So she gave me this mask um, to put on today. It's a collagen gold mask, so I'm gonna put that on. It's kind of gonna be like soothing and hydrating. And then I also took Benadryl last night, which she said to take for three days to help with the swelling, I believe. And I'm gonna be doing hyaluronic acid three times a day. I ran out of my SkinCeuticals hyaluronic acid, so I'm using the Ordinary. This is a little bit more affordable than the SkinCeuticals one, so if you're looking for an affordable version, check out the Ordinary one. But the SkinCeuticals one is actually amazing. So I'm gonna do this mask and do my hyaluronic acid and then I'll check in with you guys if there's any changes um if I see any changes tonight after I do like my skincare if not in the morning but 
here we are so far I already had this bump from my cycle and I don't know what these little marks are but I know she went like a little more intense on these lines so I have that redness here but this is amazing for the next day. It hasn't even been 24 hours yet, so I'm pretty excited to show you guys the results. I'm gonna do my mask and then check in with you later. I look like a serial killer, but here's my mask. I actually love the smell of this and I love how this feels. So we'll be leaving this on for 30 minutes. I just wanted to show you guys, I just took off the mask and it feels amazing. Um, it feels so much more hydrated and it just feels smooth. It feels really good. I don't know if you can see a difference. Um, from the camera, but I haven't even done my skincare yet, but I just wanted to show you. I am gonna try to ask her if I can purchase those masks because I really like it. It feels um, like a lot more rejuvenated, and then I did try to like tap a little bit under my eyes. Hi guys, today is, I guess you consider it the third day. It's like the second full day. I had the treatment done on Monday, and it is Wednesday. So I have this nice little sticker on because I have a cystic bump from my cycle. But here is the under eyes. Um, they were a little swollen this morning. They're not too swollen now. I have a towel on, by the way. I'm not sure if I can see a difference yet. I don't know. She said it won't take that long, so I'm just kind of waiting for the swelling to go down. And also, I'm in bathroom lighting, so you know it's going to create a shadow. But I just wanted to check in. There's no new updates today. My face is getting less red. Um, it's a little dry right now, but that's normal to be expected. So I need to do my hyaluronic acid and some moisturizer. Here's the under eyes. So I'll check in with you again probably in the morning. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update in the natural light. Sorry my sunglasses have already made a mark. Um, and this nice cystic bump is still there. And I have a little patch on it right now. But I just wanted to give you an update in the natural light of the under eye situation. I'm not sure if it's still swollen or if it's supposed to feel this way because like the liquid is under there. I'm not really sure because it's not supposed to be like filler. I have to text her and ask her if it's supposed to stay or if they're supposed to go back to how they were because like when you touch it, you kind of feel like a little squishy, I should say. I don't know. Um, it's still like really red here and here. So I don't know if it's done healing, but I'm going to continue to update you guys. And then what at whatever point they stop making progress, then I guess my video will be done. Um, yeah, I don't think they're done healing because they look the same, if not a little worse, like redder right here. So we're going to see what happens with it, and I'll keep checking in with you. I just wanted to give an update. Um, I do have some red spots on my face, but... As far as my under eyes, this is them in natural light. It has been one week. Um, this is from my sunglasses that I just took off because it's very bright out here. But this is from one week. So, I will finish out the video later today and show you guys in different light. I hope that it's made a difference because I have to look at the footage to see if Hi guys, I just came on here to end this video. I wanted to just sum up my overall experience and what I thought so far because I had to look at the footage in order to see if there was a big difference. As you can see, I'm looking in the viewfinder up here. I feel like there's a huge difference in the darkness in the under eyes. And I wanted to also mention the thing that I saw the biggest change in were these little fine lines here, these like creases we all have under the eyes. I saw a huge difference in that. It's like a lot more hydrated and plump. So the overall texture seems to be a lot better. The only difference I didn't see in the darkness was like here in this little corner part. Um, as you can see like in the thumbnail of this video and also towards the end where I'm talking in the car. You can see where it's like all bright and then just like here and here is like a little dark patch. But I do go in I think about six weeks for my next treatment. So I'm really excited about it because I was a little nervous. I didn't think it was going to work and... I was like kind of hesitant and then it was also a little painful and uncomfortable and I just looked crazy. Um, but overall, I seem to heal pretty quickly. I would say by the fourth or fifth day, you're not going to have any swelling with the under eyes. I really love the experience. Um, all the information is down below. I put a little extra blurb on the PRP if you guys want to read more about it. 
I also put Alchemy's website, I put their Instagram, I put Janine's Instagram, and also the number where you can text Alchemy um, because sometimes I'm like too busy to call them to make my appointment and I just send them a text and they're super accommodating and super nice and they just text me back with an appointment time. Um, they do have three locations here in Los Angeles and then they have one in New York. So that's all the locations they have right now but if you're not in any of those cities, just do your research, read reviews and see how other people's experiences were. You don't want a chance with needles and blood and especially injecting under your eyes. You don't want to take a chance with that. So make sure you find someone really good. The reason that I knew there was a big difference um, was because of my husband. So you all know men are so oblivious and they just don't notice when we change our hair or like change something unless you talk about it like a whole bunch of times. And I was obviously talking about this a lot because he sees me doing my videos and you know he saw me swollen, he saw the whole thing. But the other day I was just sitting there I think watching TV and he looked at me he's like oh let me see your under eyes. And I was like yeah. And I showed him, and then he's like, oh, they're so much brighter and lighter. It did work. And I was like, okay. So it did work because he's not going to lie to me. Like, I didn't ask him for his opinion. He offered that to me, you know? So I was pretty excited about that. And I can't wait to go get another treatment done. Like, amazing. And obviously, I told you guys, I have been seeing Janine for like six years now. She's been doing my tattoo removal for six years. So... I trust her and I love every single treatment she always does and I really love alchemy it's the cutest place like you just feel the vibes when you're there it has that cute aesthetic if you want to you know take a photo or do like a little TikTok. the rooms are so clean and it's so quiet in there I just really enjoy going there um, I'm also gonna go back for microneedling because I do microneedling without the PRP just on my chest to help with the stretch marks so if you're looking for something also for stretch marks Microneedling is number one. I don't want to talk your head off too much. I just wanted you to know overall I had a great experience. I am gonna do it again and I feel like it really did help if you're someone with a lot of texture issues and fine line issues This is gonna be number one for you And then also if you have darkness like I did it's also gonna help with that so I'm excited to see you know if this second treatment helps elevate as well and Make it even better because obviously I'm not perfect as we can tell um, It is lighter, but it, obviously it's still not like Matching but um, I am super pale right now I have not been in the Sun for six years because of my tattoo removal if you guys didn't know I've been removing this for six years with Janine. Um, it's still not gone. That's a long story You'll probably see that in the video someday when it's finally gone. I will give you the rundown, but um Haven't been in the Sun, so I need to self tan, but I did notice when I self tan my face my under eyes do not look dark whatsoever. That's something to consider. Tan your face, self tan your face. Maybe not tan in the sun due to aging, but yeah, you get my point. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. If you guys have any questions about anything, about the treatment, about Alchemy 43, anything, just put them down below in the comments for me. I put as much info as I could on there, but if you guys want to read up more about the PRP and the microneedling, do your research and also I linked Alchemy's website and they have a little, um, you know, like Q&A part to give you more info about the plasma. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe before you leave. It will really help me out. Until next time, thank you so much for watching.